Hello and welcome to Frotch on Fighting with me, Carl the Cobra Frotch, all time world champion, all of famer. You know the rest of the script. This episode is brought to you by Cobra Casino. So I switch on social media again, and Fran Warren is having a go at the Cobra again, calling me a miserable bastard. Break top, what's going on? I've never been miserable. I'm always smiling, I'm always laughing, I'm happy, I'm smashing life. Since retiring 10 years ago, all I've done is enjoyed myself, kept in my lane, I just got down and stuck down to business, kept, kept under the radar already as much as I could. But since having this channel, this honest channel, the truth-seeking channel, the only channel where people come to hear the truth, they come to the Cobra, frost on fire, that's what we do here. All I've said to you, or about you, and not even about you, I've just mentioned Saudi Arabia and the atmosphere, or lack of it. It's a bit of a lack of atmosphere in Saudi Arabia. Everybody I talk to, agrees with what I'm saying. And it's not a criticism, it's an observation. I'm just pointing out that Saudi Arabia boxing event lack atmosphere. I've been out there two, three, I've been out there two, two times I've been out there. The first time I went out there was Anthony Joshua rematch with Ruiz and everybody was on the same page. I mean, the fight was a bit dull, the rematch. AJ kept tight his way out, boxed him, whatever, got his belt back. It was a dull affair, but the atmosphere was terrible. And the atmosphere remains to be terrible because every time the action's going off, the people at ringside are sitting there just not getting animated. They're not emotionally involved. They don't fully understand the sport. There's no travelling Brits, really. There's a handful of people go out there. So we're struggling for the atmosphere. It's not a criticism, like I've said. It's an observation. They need to get back in lane, Bricktop, and stop criticising the Cobra for my honesty. Addy from, from Dazone the other day pointed out that Carl Frotch is very animated and he's, he's saying a lot. He's got a lot to say on his own channel. And he's trying to say, I know what he's doing. He's trying to get the clicks up. He's trying to get the numbers. But then he sort of contradicts himself and said, well, actually, he's just saying what all of us are thinking. So he's right. I am saying what you lot are thinking, but you can't say it. Nobody wants to upset Bricktop. Nobody wants to upset Eddie Hearn. Nobody wants to upset the broadcasters, whether it's Sky or The Zone or Channel 5 or whatever channel the boxing being shown on. But I don't need to worry about upsetting anybody. Talk to Paul. They're my colleagues. They're my friends. You can catch my verdict, actually, with George Groves. Every time there's a big fight, you get me in the morning. And I'm actually going to move on to what I'm talking about. And that's going to be a real good atmospheric fight in Britain last weekend between Fabio Wardley and Fraser Clark. What a fight that was. Two heavyweights, really, on their first test. Fabio Wardley, what, 17, 18 fights, ex white collar fighter. Fraser Clark, Olympic bronze medalist, making his ninth professional fight. Both of these guys really was in their first big test, both undefeated, and they're both locked horns from round one. Fabio Wardley dropped Fraser Clark. This was a toe-to-toe -to -toe battle from the off, and he went 12 rounds. I thought Fraser Clark just did enough to win, but it was close. He did get dropped. He got a point deducted, so maybe that balanced the scales, if you like. But I thought Fraser did it all to win. But what a great fight, what a great atmosphere. Everybody's saying the same. And that's not having a go anywhere else where there's no atmosphere. But in Saudi Arabia, you don't get Frotch Kessler rematch at the O2. You don't get Frotch Groves rematch at Wembley Stadium for 80,000 fans. You just don't get it because you're going to British fans. The animated, passionate British fans that don't travel to Saudi. Now, listen. I'm not criticising it for the sake of criticising it. I'm pointing out an observation that everybody agrees with. So get back in your box, Brick Top. Start having a go with the Cobra. I just realise that we can all be friends. And if you've got something you want to say, if you've got a problem, yeah, we can shake hands, we can get together, and we can um, get you on the channel. But you keep, you keep reneging on the chance to come on the channel, don't you? I keep offering you, come on, have a debate, and then we'll see where we go. But there's something else I want to talk about. I know you don't want to upset the Saudis, and you don't want to upset your relationship with them, because you're getting paid well, you get some good bunks, and that's great. But you said that I'm a miserable bastard because I don't want the fighters earning money. I want the professional fighters to earn the money, because they're the ones taking the punches. When they go in that ring and stand on that canvas and exchange punches like warriors, you climb down the steps, the city, your comfy seat ringside, you don't get punched in the head. So I'm happy when the fighters are getting paid. It's brilliant that Saudi Arabia, the Turkey Al Sheikh, wants to spend some of his excellent bank balance on these fighters, because that's what the fighters deserve, big money. I've got no problem with that at all. What I'm worried with, what I'm struggling with, and I can't understand is, why are you walking around holding hands with a grown man? What's going off? You're holding his hand. I, I don't even hold my boy's hand. He's 13 years old now. He's too old for that. What's going on? 
Why are you holding it? Turn Cal Shake's hand. He's walking around like you're his little boy. Do you call him daddy? I'd like to know. What is going on? Why are you walking around holding a grown man's hand? Eddie Hernan sold his soul, has it? Eddie Hearn's out there. He's doing what he's told. He's taking the bunt. Fair play to him. The fighters are getting paid. I don't know what's going on for you. Do not know. I don't understand it. So if anybody understands it, let me know in the comments below. But friend, this is nothing personal. If you want to come on the channel, well, stop calling me a miserable bastard because I've never been miserable. I'm happy. It's my life is, I'm smashing it tonight. I couldn't be happier and I couldn't be happier for the fighters of earning the money. But it would be nice if you honored your word of what you've said, because Eddie said it as well, and the Saudis are talking about it, coming back to England, are you? Coming back to Wembley Stadium with Anthony Joshua, potentially, and Tyson Fury, well, that would be great. But you know what? I won't hold my breath because I can't see that out of it. But let's hope it does. We get back in your box, I'll get back in mine. Frotch on fighting, you come here for the truth. If you want to come on the channel, just give me a call. You've already been asked. You don't want that idea. You don't want to debate with the Cobra. Until next time, Rick Top. See you later. So I had to nip downstairs for a drink between takes and look who I bumped into. Yeah, let's get a selfie then, mate. Look at this. Oh, look the who Cobra. I, look who I bumped into, Ron Beckett. In Dubai. Comedian genius. I'll tell you what, I saw you on, um, oh, actually, I'm videoing here. Hello. Can I say something, yeah, Carl? I'm a big fan of yours, yeah. right? Obviously, I was at um, Wembley. Were you eight, one of the 8,000? I was one of the eight. I, without me, it would be 79,999. I was there, one Making of the 8,000. Making numbers. And, I don't, and I'm not biased, because I was there supporting George Groves. No you offense. was actually there supporting George Groves? Yep, I was there, I was the power to George Groves. Don't know how to take that. But what I want to say is, I'm, I'm not really happy with Frank Warren and what he's been saying about you. Well, this is... You're saying actually, you're miserable. Can you, yeah, can you elaborate on well, that yeah, a little bit? Yeah, so he has Frank, Warren, he has Frank Warren, you know... And Brick you know, top. a lot of people don't know him as Frank Warren, they know him as Brick top. Yeah. Well, he is a boxing promoter called Frank Warren, yeah. as well as being Bricktop. Yeah, don't go in too hard because I do want tickets to Fury fights. But <laughs> what I would say is, though, he's not miserable. He's a man. I've se I saw you on the slides. The, the, the I water saw slide. Carl Frotch on the go. water slide. And your little face. <laughs> you, he's, you were loving it. I'm a bundle that, of joy, aren't I? I? Honestly, he came on. Someone, I heard someone go, Carl, he's an happy fella. Would, if only they knew. So if someone was to say to you, yeah. Carl Frotch is a miserable bastard. I would say, if someone said to me, Carl Frotch, I would say, first thing that comes to mind, slide addict. Loves the slide. Love the slide. Couldn't st he, he can't get him off the slide. Secondly, I'd say Nottingham Forest. Yeah, you know. Forest. Thirdly, I'd say Boxer. Yeah. So, so now I know you. The first thing I'd say is a happy man on a slide. Not miserable at all. I don't know where Frank's get Frank, Frank Warren's getting it from. And he's a comedian. I'm so, a comedian, yeah. So that's the kind of vibe we're on. Yeah, but yeah. No, thanks no, for no, 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 and also as well, like, I know what happy people look like. That's my job exactly. to make people happy. Exactly. Is it, look at his face. It's a happy... What? So, well. It's hard. Is it? You don't look happy, though. <laughs> He's like, that's a happy man. Look how happy he is. Hey, listen, who's doing this? What's that? What's, <coughs> when have you been the happiest? When you, what makes you My spot? happy place is when yeah. I chin Groves. Right, yeah. 80,000. How many was it? You was there, yeah, wasn't you? I was there, yeah, one of the 80,000. But no, I'm, I'm glad we cleared that up. What else makes you happy? Do you like sweets? Do you like no, Kinder Eggs? No, I don't like sweets. Kinder Eggs? No. I like my teeth. I like Kinder Eggs. Do you like Kinder Eggs? I've seen my book. You've Look read my book, haven't you? No, I haven't read it. No, you've read my book. You didn't even write it. It's a collect Kinder Eggs. He's read the book. Did you write it? Yeah. No. I've not. I didn't write he it. He likes Frank I've Warren. Read it. I've Frank read Warren. It three times. He likes Kinder Eggs, he, and he likes slides, and he knock, <laughs> likes knocking out George Groves. You're a, you're a happy guy. Exactly. He's not listen, miserable. Listen, I'm I gonna... saw him. I saw him drinking out of a coconut. <laughs> a miserable man does not drink out of a fresh coconut. With and I it. saw you. You looked awkward because you didn't want to see other people seeing you drinking out of a coconut because he's an alpha male, and there's nothing less alpha than drinking out of a fresh coconut, is there? Carl? No, exactly. But yeah. I'm glad we cleared that up. And I'm going to stick this, if you don't mind, yeah, I'm, going yeah. to, I'm going to record a frotch on fire yeah. tomorrow. I'm yeah. going to stick this on yeah. just to show people that I'm not miserable. Can I, can I say something else as well? I wasn't expecting to film this while the V's quite deep. Yeah. And secondly as well, Carl did say, you are quite intimidating, I'd say, Carl, even though I've known you a little bit. Yeah. Um, and he said, can you come on my YouTube channel and tell everyone I'm not miserable? And I said, absolutely. And yeah, you're not. You, you wasn't intimidating, was you? What? You wasn't intimidating. Uh, how if you're we, being honest, aren't you? What? I don't want people to forget the wrong idea. No, he's, really, he's not miserable. He's really happy. Happy guy. If we were Carl, if we were to like now have a fight, how quickly could you finish me? Um, I'd probably pick that chair up because my hands are a bit sore. <laughs> You from, like the, the, hard head. from the slides, I have got quite an hard head. Yeah. I think I'd be beaten easily, but you'd hurt your hand. 
probably smash my hand on your head. Yeah. But, but I think um, you'd be unconscious. Bottom line is, Frank Warren, he's not miserable. He's, he's a great guy. Yeah. He loves slides. He loves Kinder Eggs. All he wants is a couple of people in Saudi Arabia making a noise. That's it, yeah. <laughs> so the you want, the atmosphere. It? Actually, I might as well touch on that one I've got you. Yeah? Go on. Saudi Arabian atmosphere. Yeah. And I'm not being overcritical. I'm pointing out, I'm making yeah. an observation that the, the atmosphere... It's no 8,000 at Wembley. It's no, no 20,000 no, at the O2. No, exactly. It's, it's no Nottingham Arena with 7, it's 8 It's no 700 people at St Albans. What's your biggest me? crowd? What, that I've performed to? Yeah, biggest um, crowd. Well, yeah, come on, when I did the Parent and Hell Tour, it was 18,000 at the O2. 18. 18, not, 18 not, yeah. 1, 8, not 1, 8. 1, 8, yeah. Okay. And that was shared with me and Josh Whitaker, but you shared it with George. Right. So yeah, you've only really done 40,000 at yeah. Wembley. Well, most people. I'd say as well, actually, you probably, I'd say the way George Groves egged up the fight, and he's from London, I'd say he probably got 60,000 in there. Well. I'd say you did 20,000 in there. Because if, if he hadn't knocked you down, which I don't want to bring it up, it's quite embarrassing to get knocked out by him. <laughs> but if he hadn't have knocked you down and then wound you up with all the mind games and the Rubik's Cubes, I reckon... No, he I, definitely... I think he did, uh, you know. Listen, I don't mind. Me and George, we're good friends now, yeah. as you know. And you're not miserable about it, you're a good guy. He's definitely a comedian. Definitely. <laughs> Stop saying that. Yes, I am. <laughs> it's been good to see you. Yeah. No, don't, no, don't wrap it up. I'm, I'm, I'm good to He's still going. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Jack. No, Frank Warren, he's not miserable he loves kinder eggs and he loves slides yeah so there you go yeah. now you've there you go Frank Warren like I said he's a comedian so oh yeah stop that. yeah I am a, a you're a Rob comedian Beckett, aren't you yeah, I am a, yeah I'm on, blank, I'm on blankety blank when I get home have you ever done that <laughs> that's a good pay day. see you later guys so that's it for another episode of Frotch on Fighting I hope you enjoyed it there's nothing but love from the Cobra on this channel nothing but truth and love and I can't please everybody Anyway, until next time, don't forget to hit like, share and subscribe to this channel. See you soon.